Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS Question and Answer Session Series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to prepare an earthquake magnitude map. Here you can able to see I have shown an earthquake magnitude here. So this is below 5 degree magnitude in between 5 to 7 degree magnitude and greater than 7 degree magnitude. So like this, we can show and distinct categories in earthquake magnitude. So from where we'll get this data like latitude, longitude, then depth and magnitude. To get this data, you just need to visit UHS Earthquake Catalog. So once you will go to here, search Earthquake Catalog data. In that you can able to get the data set. How to download this data set, I have already uploaded a video. If you will go to Vikas Gadamudi channel, there is one video I will show you. So download global earthquake magnitude data. So I will give link in the description box from where you can able to download this data set so after downloading the data set you will get this kind of data set okay you will get the csv file or you can get this data in kml file format so i have downloaded the csv file format in that you can able to see there is a latitude longitude then magnitude is there so you can able to see the 2004 there is a 9.1 magnitude earthquake is there okay so similarly if you go down you will see the data set is there up to 2022 and magnitude is given there okay so what i am interested i am interested to show the location where there is a magnitude less than 4 degree less than 5 degree or what are the desire your criteria is accordingly that you can classify it so i want to show the less than 5 degree then 5 to 7 and greater than greater than 7 degree like this you can able to show the classification accordingly that so how you can able to get this data into arc map for that we need to save this file as a csv file format so just click on the file then save as then choose your desired folder where you want to save okay so just save this file as a csv file format so i have already saved this as a csv file format i will provide this from here you can able to see this csv okay so i will just add as a one here okay so i will just save this file so after that i need to go to arc map okay so i will discard this so to add the data we need to go to file then add data add xy data file add data add xy data so from here we need to browse our folder where we have kept our data so this 2004 to till date csv one we just have save here okay one dot csv so i'll just add here so automatically in x it is taking longitude and y it is taking latitude and in z i will select as a magnitude okay so you can select depth also no problem but i'm interested here to magnitude so i will select a magnitude and in the edit option we need to select a wgs 1984 that is our datum so we need to go to geographical coordinate system then world and wgs 1984 just click on ok and click on ok and you can just click on ok so you will see the data which we have seen in excel sheet now we have added here so this is csv file format we can convert it into shape file and if you'll see the attribute table you will get all the information okay so like you are getting latitude longitude then depth and magnitude so we'll export this file as a shape file so just right click then data and export data so just select the location where you want to save this so i will save here just magnitude and just click on the save and just click on the ok and do you want to add export data to the map layer yes i want to add so i'll click yes and after that I will uncheck this. Now you can able to see the attribute table. We have latitude, longitude and magnitude. 
so accordingly this magnitude we can classify our map okay so just right click go to properties and here is the option quantities so on the value field in the value field we can select as a magnitude so whatever the class you want to do like five classes four classes three classes you can do accordingly your wish so i'm doing here three classes so i can go to classify so i want less than five magnitude then i want five to seven magnitude and greater than seven magnitude i will just click on ok apply and ok now you can able to see now we can change the little bit size of it so from four i will do as a 10 so this is in between five to seven magnitude and this i will do as a 20. so this red color indicating the higher magnitude so now we can just go to map layout here is the option in the corner there is a map layout and we can arrange this so just right click and zoom to layer okay so we can provide title legend scale bar to this map so what we can able to do just go to insert and add legends so just this magnitude we have selected just go to next 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 and we can finish so magnitude we have added here detail bit i will ship map out upside so after that we can move this map okay so after that if you want to reclassify this one you just convert this graphic and ungroup so you can delete this and if you want to show by symbol mw or whatever you want to show according to that you can show here just click on apply okay and just you can group this okay so now we can provide a latitude and longitude to this map so just right click on the layer go to properties then new group select labels only i will go by default just next next and finish now i want to increase the size of it i can just select the size option then left and right i want to do vertical this lat long apply okay and apply so this is going little bit outside so we can take this inside So after that, we can provide scale bar and north arrow. So this is the north arrow. If you want to provide a title, we can provide a title as well. So we can provide a title here then just little bit i will copy and i will paste it here and i can change the size of it after that we can provide a scale bar here
I want in kilometer, I will select a kilometer and just click on OK. So we can stretch it a little bit. Now I'm interested to add here base map. Okay, background map will add here. Before that, I will just take a number of division only two. Now we can add a base map here. Just select this, add base map. So I will take as a topographic. So this way, very easily we can able to prepare an earthquake magnitude map. So we can just shift it. And if you don't want this service credit layers, okay. So we can remove it. So just go to this. If you don't want, go to insert, then dynamic text and service layer credits. So we can remove this. So only this portion we can able to see in a map. So we can export this file export map so i will save here so just click on the save and let's we'll see the map so this is the earthquake we just save our map so this way very easily we can able to prepare an earthquake magnitude map. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.